Welcome back to the Photo Guy channel. And in this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to actually make this light. These are the items that you're going to need. We'll start off with I went to Harbor Freight and just bought a cheap soldering iron. It's right there. Seems like it was uh, $4.99 before tax. This is the instructions that came with the LED strip that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put another link down at the bottom. This is the description of everything that I bought. I bought way more than what I needed on purpose because I plan on doing other projects. Buy whatever length you want. Okay, you're going to need strippers, scissors, soldering, and then a soldering iron and a razor. Okay, when I first did this, I cut this piece off as a test. And I learned from that. What I learned was those little black dots in there, that's exactly where you want to cut not where I did because if you cut where I did there wasn't a um, place to solder the wire to so let me kind of show you what that looks like in the instructions it shows to actually cut a notch out so it looks like that me personally I don't like that what I did I cut it right along the edge, right in the center, so I could pull it up out of there. Reason why is because when I'm done, I want to be able to wrap that back around there and then put silicone on that to seal it up. To me, it just makes more sense, less chance of water getting in there. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to solder these little copper tabs right here to the wire. The wire that I used with a 16 gauge wire and uh, I have one right here that's not prepared yet I'm gonna strip it and I'll show you about what you need as far as lengthwise because you don't want to strip it too long because if your wires happen to get pinched and touched together it's going to short it out so you want it just to be just long enough so you got some insulation there so let me get to that step and All right, here I've stripped the wire down, and uh, you can see it's it's not too much stripped off there, and we're going to solder it on about like that. Something I should mention, LED strip lights, or all LED lights, are positive negative ran. So what you want to do is you want to flip this thing over, if we can get this to focus it will show you which one of these terminals is positive and which one is negative there we go okay see there's a plus and a negative there so that's good to know when you're putting it together onto your battery terminal. So what I recommend is using a, a red wire, if you can get it, for your positive, and then either a green or a black wire, typically for ground is black. But if you don't have it, I just happen to have a green wire. I'm gonna go ahead and solder the green to the negative. All right, what I did is I took my soldering iron and touched it on this wire and got it good and warm and then I put my solder on it to kind of get some on it to start with. If you do it that way it's easier to solder it to those terminals. So I'll do that next. There it is soldered on. 
it's best to get you a, a fine tip soldering iron. So if you just want to buy a cheap one, if you don't have a good one, it's only a, a 30 watt. You don't want something real hot, you want a, a low temp. And in the solder you use, you want this to be a low temp solder, which can be bought at Harbor Freight as well. I did forget to mention you're going to need a tube of silicone. This is the brand that I use. You can use any brand, doesn't matter. You can use any color, doesn't make any difference. I use clear just for the simple fact that it is a light. And I thought, well, if light did radiate through it, it's just a little more light. Doesn't block it. Okay, I'll get the red one attached to it, and then we'll try it on the battery to make sure it's going to work. All right, that's the look of both of them on there. You can see it got a little bit hot on this wire, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. So everything's good and attached. So now I'm going to put it together and then show you what it looks like when it's all back together. And I'm not going to silicone it because it takes a while for that to dry, but I'll show you how you do that. As you can see, with that little cut, you can't hardly even see it. You're just going to smear silicone all over this, and that's going to seal it up. What I recommend doing, too, is bringing your silicone kind of way out a little bit. Put a bunch on there. Don't be shy about it. Put a bunch on there because you're going to go all the way around that to try to keep moisture out of there. Plus, it's going to hold these wires in to keep them from pulling out. So it's going to serve two purposes. So that's kind of how you assemble this. If you need to rewind, go ahead and rewind. Um, I know I didn't show me actually doing it. It's hard to do one-handed. And this is a wire that I used in a demonstration in another video where I showed you how to tie this together, tape it together. You're going to feed this end here through so by feeding that through there, that's what this whole assembly is going to look like. This piece here, like I said, you measure it at about 14 inches. Cut 14 inches off there. I cut 20, and this is what I had left. So I'd say 14, 14 and a half inches. Take your tape measure and measure around there if you need to. Um, and then that way... You're using this end of it instead of the end that comes with this power supply on it that you can actually hook up a DC charger for like a cell phone or something to it and this lights up so now we're going to test this to make sure it works before we even silicone it together because we want to try that first okay you just want to touch your your positive and your negative is all you got to do. And voila. It's lit up. Pretty simple, guys. So, leave your comments, questions, anything down below. Thanks for watching. On cutting this, I have found if you cut just a little bit past that black mark you get a better cut of what you need and I'll show you how easy this is to cut okay that's it This is what I just cut out. You can see I cut on this side of that. That black line is what you can see right there. So if you cut past it just a little bit, it gives you more to solder to. So I kind of recommend doing that. And uh, this is what the other side looks like. right there 
is the LEDs. So you won't cut them if you cut on that line. And that's a good picture there of the positive and the negatives. Okay. So what I would do here is being that I cut it a little further, I would trim this to where it's just barely past it. And there it is trimmed. So that'll make it easier for you to solder to it. So give that your try. Hey, look at that ant. He's wanting in on the action. And when you're siliconing this side up, make sure you silicone the other end. Because you need to seal both ends up. Alright, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you get some helpful use out of it. And uh, hopefully soon you'll have something like this. I picked green just because it matches the indicator on the top. Pick whatever color you want. Alright, photo guy saying have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.